Hi, if you've ever had a concussion, you really need to listen to this. So in a concussion, what happens is the brain actually gets bumped up against the inside of the skull. So it actually kind of bruises the brain. Well, research has found that typically within two weeks to four weeks, that brain has healed. So concussion symptoms usually go away. Anything beyond that is considered post-concussion syndrome. Well, what we have found is we've had a ton, especially athletes of different ages, that have had concussions that have come in with post-concussion syndrome. And what we found is the head that sets up here typically weighs 10 to 12 pounds. But underneath that head is a little bone called the atlas that weighs about three ounces. So you can imagine the amount of force to bang the brain up inside the skull, what that would do to that little three ounce bone that the head sets on. Most of the time that miss that bumped up to the head or that blow to the head actually misaligns or changes the relationship from your head to the little bone underneath. Well, that's where the brainstem comes out. That's a vital part of the nerve system. So if you have brain fog, if you have sleeping problems, if you have headaches, dizziness, sometimes nausea, oftentimes musculoskeletal aches and pains, a lot of times it has nothing to do with what happened to the brain, but what happened just under the brain right here at the top of the neck. So if you've ever had a concussion, get checked out by an upper cervical doctor. Let's see if there's something still going on underneath there that could be creating bigger problems than the concussion even did. 